the other day, Reggie, the president of Nintendo of America, announced that there's a chance that Super Smash Bros. will be ported over to the Nintendo Switch. So here is my list of top 10 Super Smash Bros. characters that I want in that port. And on this list, only first and second party characters. So, no Goku. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island is one of my favorite games of all time. And from that series, all we have is Yoshi. Well, the obvious second choice would be Kamek, who's constantly attacking you during that game. But I think the real one should be a tag team, kind of like Ice Climbers, between Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. And you might be thinking, hey, how can babies fight? No, later on in the game, Mario gets a star. He's running around, he's running up walls, he's got a cape, he's awesome. And in Mario Kart Double Dash, they have cool chain chomps. They could use that. I think they'd be awesome. I mean, if I had to choose between those and Paper Mario, I, I don't know. Paper Mario would probably be a little better if they did it right, but eh, I, I like this one. It's a little more original than Paper Mario, so that's why it's on my list. But as for moves, it could, well, they could have a, a cart. They could use the star. Their recovery could be they float in a bubble and they cry the whole time, like in the game. And they their side can be like the chain chomp. I, I just think they'd be a really cool character. They could use Mario Kart items. Um, I think they were in um, Super Mario Sluggers for Wii, a baseball game. So they could use like baseballs. <laughs> Yoshis could help them. They'd be really cool. So, that Mar Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are number 10 on my list. It'd be cool to have a minute, but I don't entirely need the minute. And I think this video clip I got is way too long because um, it's going to take a while. But this is my first top 10. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is just kind of the starting intro. Hope I'll do more top 10s in the future. And I still have a lot of time until this video clip is done. So I will stop the commentary on this one now. And you all will see what number 9 is next. Number 9 character that I want in the Super Smash Bros. port for Nintendo Switch is... Number 9 on my list. Number 9 on my list is Professor Oak from Pokemon. So, I'm up to thinking, hey, he's not a Pokemon. Well, too bad. They had Pokemon Trainer in Brawl, so too bad. Um, he'd be awesome. I mean, he can use different Pokemon for his attacks, and he can use, like, a Pokedex as, like, a counter. He can use his counter. It could be, um, you cannot use that now. You know, like, whenever you try to use your bike in the first game inside. And he can use, like, the um, smoke bombs from Pokemon Snap. He'd be awesome. Plus, we need more Pokemon characters that aren't actual Pokemon. Because right now, there are none. So, yeah, Professor Oak would be awesome. And he could spawn in Pokemon and use them as his smash attacks. Like, he spawns in a Bulbasaur really quick and uses Vine Whip as a smash attack. Or It'd be awesome. And then, as his final smash, I don't know, it could be like gets out his Pokedex and like shoots little pictures of Pokemon everywhere like bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I, I don't know I just think that it would be awesome for Professor Oak to be in Super Smash Brothers so on to the next one which is number eight the number eight character I want in the Super Smash Brothers switch port is my number 8 is Tingle from The Legend of Zelda. So, as a Zelda pick, Tingle isn't usually the first person to come to people's mind. But, I mean, he's he's one of the main people. He's even had his own game. So, I'd say if anyone's going to join the Zelda roster, it should be Tingle. So, that is why he is on my list. Um, yeah, plus he has his balloons. He has bombs. I mean, in his game, he hires, like, bodyguards. They could be used in it somehow. It 
That would be awesome. So, next is number seven, and you will have to find out what that is. Uh, Seven person that I want in the port of Super Smash Brothers for Switch is the number seven pick for the characters that I want in Super Smash Brothers for Switch is Tom Nook. I'm not really gonna say much about him because he's Tom Nook. Pretty obvious why he should be in it. He's like the main person in Animal Crossing, besides Villager. So that's about it. Okay. Oh, and Timmy and Tommy could be used for attacks too. So neat. The number six spot on my list of characters for Super Smash Bros. for Switch is... Um, number six on my list is uh, the main villain from Kid Icarus, Medusa. And she's on my list, because, you know, she's got cool, cool snake hair, and she can turn things to stone, and she was the villain in the main kid, in the first Kid Icarus, and I think that's kind of cool, you know? A, kinda, a more underrated series, even than the new one, which Quips are playing, and she's so cool, and the the stone eyes and all of that so number six belongs to um medusa because get that and it's all just awesome with oh just joking it's hades hades is number six on my list <laughs> he's on my list because just that reveal that i just showed with the clips was awesome when i first played that game is he has so many cool moves. His final smash, you could swallow everyone in, and then you've got to fight his heart or something. That would be awesome. So, Hades is a true number six on my list. So, um, yeah, next is number five. We're halfway through the list. What's gonna be next? Whoa. <laughs> All right, number five. Number five spot on my list of Super Smash Bros. characters for Switch is... Number five spot goes to the Masked Man for Mother Free. I've never actually played Mother Free, so I don't know much about him. But from what I've heard, he's awesome. He's a cool anti-hero character. Just his look alone would net him a spot. A lot of people feel that Mother Free is overrated. I mean, it hasn't even been released in the United States, so it's got to be kind of underrated. Um... So this could be a good way to kind of for Nintendo to make more for Earthbound because all it has is two characters and one of them was only DLC in the last one. So yeah, next is number four. Who can it be? Fourth spot on my list of top ten characters who should be in Smash Brothers is uh, number four on my list is Professor Layton, and sure he can use like the puzzle mechanics as his um attacks but also look look at this clip i'm playing he's an awesome sword fighter like look at that um so we could bring that luke could help him in, out in battle he use puzzles like making block puzzles fall on people <laughs> it would be awesome and i believe he's a second party to nintendo right like it's called like fifth level i think the company that does him so um that would totally work so, yeah, number four is Professor Layden. And next is number three. Only three spots left. Who will it be? Ooh. Number three spot on my list of top ten characters who should be in Super Smash Bros. for Switch is... The number three spot on my list goes to Vadi from The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. And The Minish Cap is one of my all-time favorite video games. I love that game. And Vadi is was awesome. I think he is one of the most underrated characters in Zelda. I mean, he wasn't even in Hyrule Warriors, so he's on my list. Um, he's awesome. He um has multiple forms which could be used. He was a Minish at one point, so he's all tiny. Well, he can turn all tiny. He can shoot like all this cool stuff. So Vadi would be awesome. And next is number four. Number two, not. The number four spot on my list is number two, number two spot on my list goes to Toad from Super Mario because to I, I like Toad. I mean, 
He has a little screechy voice. He's tiny. He's fun. And he can use all, like, the power-ups from games. He's been in, like, all of them. He could, like, he could, um, be the fast... He could be really fast, because in Super Mario Brothers 2, he's, like, the fastest. So, yeah. To Toad is on my list. And all of his alternate skins could just be, like, different colored Toads. <laughs> that could be fun. In his final smash could be, like, he summons more Toads. Like, a lot of Toads. Or they could use that cannon that is showing in the clip right now. There's apparently a cannon. So next is number one. We will see what it is. So next is number one. We will see what it is. The number one spot on my list this time is... <laughs> Owain from Fire Emblem Awakening. <sighs> oh, Odin from Fire Emblem Pick. I think it would be awesome. He kind of be a public of all the Fire Emblem characters. He's my, my favorite Nintendo character. So yeah, he could use sword attacks, um, magic attacks. Like, <laughs> it would be so awesome. And Thank yeah, you. that's about all I have for my number one spot. Hope you guys enjoyed this top 10. I'll be doing more. Be gone, fiend. Also, sorry that my schedule's kind of been messed up this week. I... Yep, I've just been really busy this week learning to stream, learning to edit, and all this. So, let me know if you want more top 10s. Let me know what I should do more top 10s about. And, yeah, that is about it. Um, oh, here are some honorable mentions. Like, some huh? stuff other than Nintendo. I want an owl card on this list from Castlevania. What? But, couldn't, because he's not Nintendo. Also, Sega to Sanchero from Sega, but still not Nintendo. I'll probably do a separate list for that. But no, you don't. Good, bye.